Hello. What's up, guys? All right. Well, uh, I don't know if you guys know what we're doing, but uh, we're here to talk to um, Julia because after all the things that happened with uh, the clip that was used on different platforms for the pineapple show, from the pineapple show, um, people have been coming at her a little bit. So we're going to have her. She's going to come and give us her side of her story, how she feels about it, all the shit that people have been talking about. So she's just going to come and let us know how she feels about it. And, you know, so we'll see. So Julia, if you're here, yes, she is. She's here. So we're going to start right away. If she's Julia, request for me because I don't know how to add people. I still haven't figured it out. So Julia, try to... Um, Hey Noah, uh, Julia, try to uh, request so I can add you to this thing. Because yes, um, I I don't know. We'll, we'll see. We'll see what Julia has to say. So if you guys uh, are not aware, uh, a clip of the pineapple show was used uh, on World Star and on a different blogs actually, but a big one was a Spiritual World, and it's because Julia was talking to. Um, nuclear physicist and she pineapple him so pineapple if you don't know what it is it's if it's a dating show so if you come on uh, as a guy the girl are gonna talk to you no I'm confused so I bring on a girl and the guys come and shoot their shot at the girl that I brought on so Julia for a lot of people was maybe a little too quick to pineapple him and to to say like okay I'm not interested so today I want to hear what she has to say because a lot of people have been hitting me up and um, we're good. she's here. So I'm adding her. All right. Let's see. Because you guys are talking about she belongs to the streets. Okay. We're going to see. Julia, are you here? Yeah, I'm I think here. I heard something. <laughs> yes, yeah, she's here. I'm I was here. like, I did hear something. <laughs> yes. Wait. We only you see, see your me? forehead. Here we go. Yes. You see me now? Yeah. <laughs> I was like, I don't know how to work this. <laughs> yes. Okay, so I was giving the people the, the rundown on, on what went down on the on the show. So you pineapple him after two minutes of talking to him. And I read some comments, I read a bunch of shit. So I might let you talk and then I'll ask you some questions after you're done saying what you gotta say. Okay, cool. So let's do this. I got like a good 20 minutes for this. And after today, I'm done with it. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let's do it. So, okay. First of all, let me just say this. Everybody's like, I feel like immediately everybody's like, oh, she doesn't want to talk to him because she feels like he's boring because of his job description. That's not what I said. Now, my wording could have been off and it could have been open for interpretation. But at the time, what I meant was literally like his job was dope as fuck even if you watch the live when he said it my face lit up I'm like oh shit like okay he's smart I thought he was cute so I continued to let him talk what I was looking for and what I wanted him to tell me was you lead with the okay this is my job description this is what I do but when you're trying to date somebody you need to add in personal qualities about yourself because at the end of the day, I'm not going to only be dating your job description. Like your job description and a personality trait are two different things, point blank, period. Okay. And if that was, and if that was the case, and if that is what all it takes for a relationship to work, then these billionaires and millionaires would stay married for a lifetime. So we all know that that's not true. Mm -hmm. I think what honestly has taking me by surprise is literally all the women bashing me i'm like the fact that the standard of dating is literally like automatically he got a good job so you talk there that's something wrong with that that's not that's weird to me like you know what i mean like a man having his shit together should be a standard but like it has to go beyond that for y'all to have a connection and, and at the end of the day like if I just wasn't attracted to him, I just wasn't attracted to him. Like, y'all are trying to make me be with somebody just because of what he does. Like, to me, that's crazy. So, in addition to that, if you ask somebody that question and they can't even tell you any personal qualities about themselves, do they really know themselves as a person? Mm-hmm. I mean, do you, do you think that, okay, you know, he comes to the platform, it's a lot of people watching, you know, and first of all, he's approaching. So, that's 
Yeah. You know, like, um, he, he got a little nervous. And then, um, you know, he probably wasn't prepared about saying anything about, like, I don't know. He wasn't, he was nervous, pretty much. So, yeah. so I don't know. Maybe, you know, his strong suit is like, okay, I'm smart, so that's what I'm going to showcase. But that was yeah, that wasn't really good for you. And I don't think that there was anything wrong with that. That's not what I'm saying. I feel like he should have pitched that. But at a certain point, like, let's be real, y'all. Especially to my ladies out here. Y'all, I just, oh, this sounds so bad. Cause I, but I'm going to say it at the end of the day. Y'all aren't going to go on a date with a man and sit there and talk about how he made an A on his test. And I'm not saying that that's not great. But that's not going to carry a whole conversation. Now, for my people that were like, well, you could have asked him more questions. Okay, I could have gave y'all that. But at that point, I already decided I was over it. I feel like with the platform and what was going on at the end of the day, I we are literally on an online, basically, speed dating show. You know what I mean? So at that point, I'm making decisions just like that. You know what I mean? So I think, like, it's not the fact that I'm like, oh, he is just too smart. That sounds dumb. I wouldn't even be smart for saying that. However, let me say this about myself, too. Like, I feel like... To me, it's crazy how I feel like the narrative was automatically was like, oh, she wants a bad boy or oh, she wants a thug. Like, mm -hmm. why can't I, why can't I be in a position to where I feel, to where I feel like I can have both? Like, why I got to choose one or the other? I mean, they felt, the like, they felt like when you said no personality, then it's like, oh, so you want, I don't know, in people's minds, sometimes it's like, oh, if you don't, uh, no personality, no personality means that you want somebody that's like a bad boy or somebody that's a little toxic like he was too nice pretty much that's what people but no, I, but no i think that that's i mean i can see how they took it that way and so that should have been on me to explain it better when you ask me about it but however i'm gonna keep it a buck and i'm just gonna say this like i have literally like talked to a doctor and we've gone to a strip club together like you know what i mean like that's what i'm saying it's about balance point blank mm -hmm. like so i'm not recanting my statement of my statement of feeling like Oh, I shouldn't. I shouldn't have pineapples him. At the end of the day, I'm standing beside that. I pineapples him because at the end of the day, I was looking for him to tell me more about himself that went beyond his accolades. Like, mm -hmm. and I think like for me, sorry, somebody texting me. Mm -hmm. Okay, and I think for me, just like for somebody who has held so much of their value and the things that they've accomplished, you know what I mean? Like. I know what that is. So for me, I feel like I can identify that. But like, even just me now where I'm at in my life, like I literally honestly genuinely feel like the things that I have accomplished in my life are great. That is a part of me. Those things are amazing, but that's not all of who I am. So I feel like when I was listening to him talk to me, I'm like, uh, it's kind of a red flag. Do you even really know yourself? And I feel like a lot of the women that are like on my head about it, I'm just like, first of all, this is very shady, but it's like, where's your man? What do you do? <laughs> why for real like where's your man what do you do because you're in the comments coming at me and i'm on your page and you're a single baby mama and nothing against single baby mamas but it's like at the end of the day you're on my head because you're projecting on me because you feel like you fucked up well fortunately for me i, I feel like i'm in a position and i'm also still young enough to where i feel like i don't have to just settle for one thing like cool like i saw a lot of women saying like oh if you gave him a little fade like he was gold maybe that's not him <laughs> be like like y'all want me to and they want me to talk to him and change him like you know what i'm saying like how do you know he wants that so at the end of the day it's better for him to talk to somebody who he feels like is good for him and vice versa like i deserve that i think everybody deserves to have what they want instead of trying to be forced just because y'all like oh he has a great job like right. okay so so now with all these people kind of like coming at you if you had to be, if you could be um, doing it over, would you do it differently or would you do it the same way? Um, I would say I probably still would have pineapple him. Yeah. For his response. Yeah, for sure. For his response. I'm standing on that. I'm not changing. But I'm fine on that. But I okay. will say that. And then I also think from my perspective, like I understand what people are saying, but I also think from my perspective, it's like, at the end of the day, let's call a spade a spade. Like I went on the show and guys were coming on there to try to talk to me. Like, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Period. Now I will say I'm somebody who likes to see things from all different perspectives. So yeah, I, I will say this though, watching the video back, I feel like my body language could have been better mm -hmm. because I, like after I rewatched the clip, I was like, you literally saw it go downhill for me. Because I'm like, when he first came on, I'm like, okay, tell me about 
doctor self. And he's like, I'm a, I do this or whatever. I'm a nuclear physicist. Like, and I'm like, oh shit. Like, okay. You know what I mean? Yeah. And then I honestly think like once we finally got to the part about him telling me like he made an A on his test, I'm just kind of like, no, I need, yeah. I need more. Cause I think at the end of the day, like what people don't realize is that's still fucking superficial. Period. Okay, but what do you want to say to people who have been saying, I say it because I read it in the comments, and they were like, get a dog, get a cat, die alone, you'll always be single. What what you got to say to these people? Um, I'm going to say to those people that, one, y'all don't know me, and two, at the end of the day, what's for me will be for me. Like, I don't feel like they hold any kind of substance, and you obviously have way too much time on your hands to even be like you're gonna die alone like maybe you're gonna die alone like now what <laughs> so okay so you know a lot of women have, have came to me dming me emailing me talking about where yet so i've been looking for him if i find him would you give him another chance or you're done you know so somebody asked me that um and at first i said yeah but i also think at this point like because it's such a thing, I'm just like, oh, this is so annoying. Yeah. But but I will say this. I will say this for sure. I do think that he was probably nervous. So maybe in a different setting, we would maybe get some different results. Mm-hmm. So do, yeah, you think, you, do you think that moving forward, you're going to act a little differently when, when guys approach you? Um, I think, I'm not even going to sit here and try to say things. I just think like, if we call it space space at that point i just wasn't interested so if i'm not interested i'm just not interested like i'm not gonna try to force it it's not like i was like oh he's lame because he's a nuclear physicist like mm -hmm. no that shit is dope but at the end of the day that doesn't mean that he's right for me period okay so i mean maybe should i smile a little more sure. maybe a little more <laughs> You know, just a little more approachable. Because, you know, they got to do this whole thing of, like, coming on to you and talking. And it's, like, really, like, nerve-wracking for them. And, you know, sometimes women are a little cold and, you know. Yeah, so do you feel like I was cold from the time you came on? No, I did feel like you liked him. And then I saw it when you started not really fucking with him like that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so that's what I'm saying. So, like, but yeah, also. also you know, mm -hmm. also, uh, I, the part that people didn't see that he came back on because the chat was going crazy talking about, no, give him a chance. Like, why you did that? And um, a lot of people were like, well, uh, it's good for him. Like, it was a blessing for him to not be with you and shit. And then he came back on and then you told him, oh, my God, it's you again. So, okay, tell me, tell me a little more about yourself. And then because at this point he was just clowning, he didn't yeah. say anything, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but I just, oh, and let me also address this because I get seen this comment that, like, now I'm going to be responsible for him only dating white women. I saw, that, I saw, I was like, stop it. No, so many people have said that to me, and I know it's crazy. So, you're going to tell me I'm going to literally be responsible for this man to stop dating a whole race of women. Let's keep it a buck, and I'm going to call it spade a spade. If that is what it takes for him to stop talking to black women, he wasn't that interested in black women, anyways. I'm, I'm not. I'm being for real. I'm not going to be responsible for that. That's crazy to me. And then I keep seeing the whole comment of like, oh, she's just young and doesn't know what she's talking about. Yes, I may be 23, year old, 23 years old, but I'm not stupid. I've literally heard. I just think I think it's interesting because I feel like it was literally the perfect headline for the blogs, like for what's going on on social media right now and this whole like gender war thing. And I feel like I literally fit the I won't even say the description because they don't know me I feel like a lot of people stereotype me because they feel like oh she's cute she's young I would have somebody be like oh she's probably a bottle girl like and nothing against bottle girls like if that's how you get your money that's how you get your money but to me that was interesting and so uh, with this conversation in particular they were like actually on a live YouTube show talking about it and I listened to them dog me like literally for like a good hour and I finally really? like yeah, and so finally I started, like, talking shit back in the comments, right? So then when I got on the live, they were like, how long have you been here? And I'm like, I've been here the whole time. I heard everything you said about me. And so we're, like, having the, yeah. I'm like, I heard what you said, so stand on what you said. Like, let's debate about it, right? So now we're, like, having this conversation, and I started talking about myself, and I'm like, well, actually, 
you know, I started dancing for the NBA when I was 19. I just recently opened, like, my first dance studio location in Augusta, and I'm actually going to school to be a nurse. And then to me, it was automatically interesting because the whole tone of the conversation changed. It was kind of like, mm-hmm. oh, shit. Like, she has some business about herself. You know what I mean? So it's just like, to me, I just think it's so interesting how the whole thing went down. I just like I was an easy target for them to be like, oh, she wants this and she wants that. Like, just how they were saying that they feel like it was lame for me to do X, Y, and Z. I think it's lame for y'all to just automatically assume that I want something that I didn't even say. And then especially to all these 40 and 50 year old women out here, like don't y'all got something else to do other than to be bashing a 23 year old on Instagram? So tell me the worst, <laughs> tell me the worst, what's the worst comment you got? Um, gosh, I don't even know. I've seen so many. It was so many, like how many? Yeah, it's been a lot. Like, I'm not going to lie. Eventually, I started clapping back. So I'm like, at this point, y'all got me fucked up. I had somebody come on my page tell me that um, I'm a city girl mindset and just being like, you. I think, I wouldn't even say one in particular was just like, oh, my God. I think the overall of them trying to make it seem like that I'm just this horrible person who isn't worthy of something good just because I decided to that just because I decided that somebody wasn't for me is the most hurtful thing about it. It's just like, damn. So now I deserve to be alone or even the comment of like, she doesn't deserve him. So then what do I deserve? What are you saying? I I deserve to get my ass beat. Like, is that what you're saying? I deserve to be cheated on. And I think like hearing a lot of it coming from women is like, you're saying these things about me, but what does that say about you to even say that about another black woman? Mm -hmm. Because there's something called constructive criticism yeah you know what i mean I like maybe they said that's what they were doing i don't know <laughs> like you know what I mean? like telling me like oh i don't deserve him or people just being like oh she's not intelligent like yeah are you intelligent so i don't know i think that's just my whole thing my whole take i would definitely say i can be more aware of my body language but at the end of the day he didn't answer my question how i needed him to answer it and then i also mm-hmm. think that people just really watched the whole clip i've seen several clips of it being like chopped and screwed and i'm just like what that's not how that even went down (laughs) Mm -hmm. yeah do you okay so i have some people do you want to talk to people or are you good sure let's do it (laughs) you're brave you're fucking brave (laughs) let me see if somebody got something to say okay I, I hope this works. So I just try to ask somebody. We got. We're gonna wait. To see if they're coming. What's up, y'all? Hi. Hey. How are you? I'm alright. About to dry these clothes. Okay. Do Do you have something to say about the clip that went viral? My thing is, look. He. When you asked him about his um. About. A little bit about him, what you wanted to know. He should have just been honest, you know, said, I have this type of family, blah, 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 all this other stuff. It wasn't, in my opinion, it's okay. These people who are calling you out, so-called calling you out, ignore them. You know what I'm saying? You're fighting with the wind because it just is what it is. You know what I mean? Just ignore them. You yeah. have a life too. Definitely. I, I appreciate it. So. See, mm-hmm. he's not going... <laughs> And saying me what? Stuff. And not only that, let me say this real quick too. You know, he's going to be a, a nuclear physicist for the uh, military, but that job's not going to benefit his own community. And you're right; more than likely, he's going to probably date somebody who is who doesn't even look like a black woman. So who cares? You know, okay. it is what it is. I don't care what people think. Screw them. All right. Well, thank move you on. For- for your nice words. Yeah. Okay, well, we'll talk to you later. Yeah, thank you. I'm sorry. My- Bye. Bye. All right, let me see. I have, I think I have a woman that want to talk. Oh, she she wants to see her. You say you're scared? Wait, I don't hear you no more. Wait, are you talking? No. Hello. 
Hey, how you doing? Good, how are you? I'm blessed, highly favored. How about yourself? Good, thank you. Do you yeah, have anything you. to say about this situation? Yeah, I actually do. Uh, I get what everybody is talking about because at the end of the day, you know what I mean? He, you could tell he was nervous. And as a woman, you're the queen. So you know what I mean? You got to prep a king. At the end of the day, kings, is they come and go. You know what I mean? And maybe he don't have the right, you know, essentials or something like that. But you got all rights to feel how you feel about somebody. But at the end of the day, this is where it's giving you an opportunity to, you know, change the narrative. So you could have changed this whole narrative. You know what I'm saying? I feel like... Just something more, you know, give him a little bit more season. He looked like a square a little bit, an L7. So, you know, maybe you on the yellow light, he a little green. You could have, you know, did something that would have helped out, you know, his mentality to be like, you know, I understand where you're coming from. Maybe you're not at my speed, but, you know, let me do this and that. Because at the end of the day, life is what you make it. Ask you a question. Right. Julia, that? you have something to okay? say? No, nah, it don't, baby. It don't. It don't. It don't. Uh, Whoever uh, said that, it don't. <laughs> I, I don't. Wait, but if I don't want to be wait, responsible Jalea, your internet is bad. We can't really hear you, Jalea. I don't know. Well, thank you for giving us your point of view. No, nah, it's all good. And then you read the comments, and then people, when they try to uplift or bring down, they always be like, they talk other things. Like, look, let me let me do something real quick. Huh? You see that, guys? Fresh teeth, you know what I'm saying? So don't discriminate. We lost Delia. Um, see, Lisa, you say you want to talk. Uh, request it. I think we're going to see. Okay, Delia is here. Let's see if she got her internet straight. See, Lisa, I don't see you in the thing. I, I would like a woman to come. Okay, that's better. We see you now. Okay. All right. Uh, did you want to say anything about it? Did you hear what he said? I heard a little bit of the snippet that he said, but he was just saying, like, you know, as a queen, I'm supposed to set the tone and stuff like that, I guess, or lead. I understand what he's saying, but who said I want to be responsible for that? Like, why should I have to do that if I don't want to do that? And what's wrong with that? <laughs> for real. Like, I'm being so serious. Like, maybe, and I don't want to say, like, a, but I literally feel like that's what people are essentially saying. Like, oh, well, you could have did this to make him better. Like, mm-hmm. Y'all are essentially asking me, basically saying, like, y'all want me to change who he is and what he does. Like, if that's how he finds value in himself, that's cool. It's just not for me, like, in that current conversation. Okay. All right, let me see if this uh, Lisa is coming through. No, I don't see her. Wait, I, I see Malik. Let's see if Malik is coming. Oh, yeah. All right. I want a woman just to get a woman's point. Hi, Malik. Me too. What's going on, Melly? What's going on? Oh my gosh, I remember you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Melly, what All right, you so, um, you said what? What do you have to say about the the situation? So my whole thing about the situation is, do you care about the situation? Do I care about the situation? Yeah. Like in what regard? Just um, I'm saying, I feel like you felt guilty. That's why you're on here in the first place to explain yourself. I felt like if no. you really, I feel like I if felt I felt, like, I feel like if I felt guilty, I hold would. On, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. I felt like I'm just saying. Well, maybe you could say you're not guilty, but I just feel like you felt guilty because if you really didn't care, why even get on the platform and explain yourself in the first place? But I didn't say that I didn't care. I literally said that people who have been bashing me sucks, but uh, but. I said that, but not once did I change my narrative. I have, from the beginning of time, I have stood on my decision to pineapple him and why I did it. Why? I'm saying, why do you, um, so why do you pay attention to stuff on the internet? If I mean, you have I busy, just, I'm saying if you have a busy life that you got going on and you have a lot of things going on with you, why even pay attention to people in the comments? It's the internet. You should I mean, understand that the internet doesn't exist. It doesn't matter. I think this is a bizarre situation within itself, and I feel like anybody would. I feel like that's easy to say until it happens to you. I wouldn't care. It's happened to me before, but I just wouldn't care. I said that, and I didn't say I didn't care. 
I understand you. Didn't, I understand you to say that, but I'm just going off of what you're doing. Somebody that really doesn't care. Like for example, if I really didn't care, or Melly didn't really care, I felt like she was. Well, she's an internet person. She's she she does this. This is what this is her job. But this is not your job. Like you said before, you was a dancer and a whole bunch of other things. I just felt like none of this shit matters, and you should just not care about what anybody else says or the internet, the blog, the the tweets, and all that. You feel me? Because I I just been watching and I just been watching Melly and everything that's been going on. Y'all went viral. That's what's up, Melly. Definitely Thank you. I mean, Malik, so. I feel like we, I mean, I know myself, like maybe I wouldn't have talked about it, but I know I would have felt crazy. So, because it's going to affect me regardless. I mean, I can have a tough skin, but I see all these people coming at me in my comments. I'm still going to feel the way. So, no, you can't say, oh, I wouldn't care. No, people are going to care in general. Yeah, I, I think, you. and I also think like at the end of the day, I have a right as a human to like speak my piece and my perspective you know what i mean like at the end of the day i'm a human like i'm not a robot i have feelings i'm a person no that's a fact that's a fact that's a fact so my do you feel like do you think though as far as how she she pineapple him or how she handled the situation do you think that was fine or it's a problem um, no i don't really think it was a problem because like she said she it's not what she likes so you can't force nobody to like something I'm saying if that's not her type or anything like that, shit. I'm saying he may have been a he he may have been a great guy or something like that, but that's not what she likes. He might there's somebody else out there for him, so it really shouldn't even matter. Okay. It shouldn't. Yeah, I'm saying he'll find he'll find who's for him and she'll find who's for her. So for sure. At the end of the day. Yeah, nobody can't bash anybody. Fucking people in the comments, this, that and the other. Don't pay attention to it. Do what you do at the end of the day. People gonna love who like you can't like you can't really just sit here and be like, all right, oh he was a great guy, this that and other. He may have been a great guy, but he wasn't a great guy for her. At the mm -hmm. end of the day, that's not what she liked. Like if Melly didn't like that, then she would have never even continued doing anything with him or even talked to him. So you really can't come on here and say she's this that and the other. She's bad, da da da. But at the end of the day, I just feel like you shouldn't care. Don't even pay attention to the internet. It's just the internet. At the end of the day, laugh at this shit. Yeah. yeah. Back. I feel that. I, I feel like for me, it definitely started off like as a joke. I'm like, what? People were picking this up. Like at first, I was like laughing about it, and then it kind of got to a point where I'm like, everybody's sitting next to me. I'm like, this is mad annoying. And then I have people like reach out and be like, oh, you need to say something, blah blah blah. So I'm like, all right, I'm gonna speak my piece. And then yeah. <laughs> I feel you. What shit? Do what y'all do. I love you, Melly. Love you too. I talk to you soon. All right. I'm still trying to get this lady that was talking, but I don't think we're going to get her. So yeah. I'll give you one more and then we we can leave. All right. All right. Somebody say you need a hug from the back. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I, I, I like the hugs from the back. Hi. What up, Ellie? Hey. I still want my cooked meal, all right? It's not happening. <laughs> <laughs> So, so Anthony, what what do you have to say about the situation? So, I mean, I'm I'm on board with it too, and I'm not I'm not falling with that simp shit. So, everybody in the comments, show with that. Um, I agree with it. Like, listen, if that's not her type, that's not her type. You can't force it on somebody. I do think delivery matters, though. Like, don't don't play old boy out. Like, he might be a square, but if you play him out or make him feel a certain way, he's gonna be a square forever. So you're not, like, creating an opportunity for growth for someone else. Um, but I do agree with her point on, you know, like, he's sitting there bragging about his accolades, and that, that kind of makes somebody corny because it just says, like, that's all I got to offer. I, I don't have any personality. I got no flavor. I got no character. So, you know, I feel you with that. Yeah. Okay. So – I think so. Oh, we'll just like get some more constructive criticism back. So you feel like I should have like pineappled him in a different way, or I should have explained it better. So I don't remember exactly how it went because I, I I saw the original video and then I saw the clip and then the clip kind of makes it so short that I don't remember how long you were actually talking to him for. Um, two and a half minutes. Two and a half. I mean, all right. So. That, that kind of gets to the point of the show. You ain't going to have this dude for like 10 minutes and then go pineapple. You know, from the start, you kind of vibe it out. But 
I guess people are looking at it from a standpoint like everyone thinks that women just want the high value in like the terms of status, but it's not always just that. It's characters, everything. You gotta have, you gotta have it all. Mm-hmm. And then there's dudes that, that they're gonna be on the comments and they're gonna be shit talking it because you know like it's just that battle between men and women right now where men are trying to get their power back and it's at all costs, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm like, I've heard this whole, real quick. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You live with a man. He pays the rent. You gonna cook for that man? <laughs> Me? <laughs> yeah. Whatever, I'm... Anthony. We're out. Thank you for. Oh, wait, no, I was going. Come on, man. <laughs> You're out. Thank you. <laughs> Is Not because we were lying. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He was cute. Uh, okay. Shit. Okay. Well, I'll give you the info then. Uh, oh, wait, are you trying to, are you trying to talk to you, sis? Uh, no, it wasn't. No, it's because we went oh. live maybe two days ago on Instagram, and the topic was uh, if you live with your girlfriend, who pays the rent? And he was like, if I pay the rent, you need to cook. And I was like, okay, but I'm going to get a <laughs> chef and a maid. Is that okay? And he was telling me, no, it's not okay. And I was like, that is okay. You ask me for food, I'm going to give you food. But he was like, that's not enough. So that's why, I, yeah, that's why he was saying that. Oh, <laughs> yeah. that's right. Wait, I, I want to see if this girl came on. She didn't. Okay, I give you one more, and then we're out. Because some of the okay, people kind of agree with you, so it's weird. Like most of the internet was like on your head, and the people yeah. who are coming in today, they're like, no, I mean, it wasn't your. But cousin. I think, but you know, it's interesting. I feel like it's mostly men that agree with me, and I think that's. I'm like, really? Okay. You- Let's see if a uh, samurai agrees with you. What's your name? Phil, I just want you to understand one thing. This whole situation, you're nothing but a casualty, right? Because you've already seen the narrative in the news of men and women, the idea of women wanting the wrong type of men until they make that mistake. You're just a byproduct being in that moment. But in Mm -hmm. reality, I don't think it's fair that you almost felt like you were so in tune with like this person that you had read them. You can't read someone in two minutes. You didn't even ask him any actual substantial questions. You asked him a vague question and based off of how he's probably used to living, he answered it to the best of his ability. But I feel like a lot of times in situations, we don't ever look at how we could have offered a little bit more clarity as to what we were looking and hoping to receive from that person. So you almost have to like be a little more open to kind Mm -hmm. of giving room giving grace to people for to blossom. Like he's a flower, we're all flowers. And when you water the flower, it, it blossoms. If petals start showing, you get to see and smell everything that comes with that flower. But you, I feel like you may have cut him a, sh- a little short because you thought he was corny, which is fine. But I don't think, I think it's something you could work on just knowing like, you can't just jump to conclusions like that. That dude low key could have been mad cool. I'm someone who also does karate. I know what it's like to be a nerd But also, I come from the trenches, so I really get that from both ends, you want one thing, but you also don't want this. Like, And I've always looked at myself as somebody who can just be themselves unapologetically. He might not think that the things he's into is necessarily cool to women. And it it, it all just comes down to, like, it's too short of a moment to actually, like, assess and to say you're right, you're wrong. All we really do is ask what solutions can we have to, like, better the divide and bring people you know what i'm saying like together in that regard like how can we un- better understand what we actually do want and need how do we separate those two and how do you know that this man wasn't as cool as he possibly could have been if you if you would have talked to him for 10 more minutes you might have actually seen that this dude had you and this dude had one similar thing in common that was at the top of your list and you don't even know that because you just put him out way too fast because he was corny which i think is something that at, at 23 is fine but moving forward yo you can definitely like open up and just let people open up if you give them space to open up trust me you're gonna get that back and you're gonna you're gonna get a good person but other than that you ain't do shit wrong people are gonna be people and the internet is gonna take anything and make it that so all these people are just you know noise but other than that keep doing you keep like being open to understanding and open to growing. That's all you got to do is if you're growing and learning every second of the day, you'll meet this person again and y'all will have a conversation. At some point, you and this guy are going to have a private conversation 
And I promise you, he's going to be a lot cooler than you thought he was in that clip. Promise you. I, I really appreciate that. I really appreciate how you, like, broke that down. I will say this. I didn't even think about it, like, me being, like, I'm really good at reading people until you just said what you said. So maybe I should have just said, in that moment, that's not what I was looking for. That wasn't for me. You know what I mean? I think that would have been a much better response. My, my, my little sister, before, if she want to go and do whatever she want to do, I'm backing her. I don't care if she tell a dude no because he got no money. I don't care if she tell a dude no because he's ugly. If I'm going to back my sister, you want. And I yeah. tell her to make a decision based off of what you want and what's going to make you happy. But do not, like, do it with a clouded judgment. Always be open to, like, the fact that there may be a little piece of change and a little piece of, like, growth. Here. Like, in this moment, I may be allowing myself to grow just by being open to the information being brought to the, brought to the forefront. Yeah, facts. I respect that so much, so much. But I do want to say this for clarification. I didn't think he was corny for him doing what he did. I didn't write him off as being lame because of what he does. Because I'm gonna keep it. I'm a. I'm gonna be honest with you. Let me just say this. Because I did not have to talk to him. I I talked to him because I thought he was cute, and mm -hmm. I let him continue to talk because I was waiting for the conversation to evolve into something else, which I could have asked better questions, like you said, to for that to happen, and I didn't. So in that moment, I was being one-sided. So I agree with you in that. I might I might have paraphrased, and I said corny when you said boring, and that's where I meant to say you might have thought he was not boring if you would have let him open up and asked him questions that really allowed him to do his actual personality and not what he probably is used to in life. Of yo, imagine if you are a nuclear physicist. Everyone who meets you is literally running off their resume. That is his circumstance, and that is his like cultural upbringing, most likely. It's normal for him. So he needs somebody like, like the other boy was saying like, yo, you could have been somebody that really might have brought, like he might have been literally the coolest nigga on the planet. And you could have been that little bit of spark and it's not required. But as humans, we're going to get a lot further with community. That's why I'm here even having this conversation because I feel like there's a lot of men wanting to get on here to do one of two things, attack or jump on dick and ride dick. So I'm going to just be very in the middle and tell you that you did nothing wrong but let's try to be open to the understanding that yo there are things that we think we want when we're young and they're not good for us and the things that we think we, we need and the things that are good for us we often dub as i don't want to do this that's why being an adult is so hard usually but we grow into that and i think is you're, you're too young to even be stressed about a viral moment you'll be all right if I, if I was you i'd be turning this into some type of bag and turn it into something i'd be on Hollywood Unlocked, talking crazy. You and the dude need to come back live. It's going to be, y'all turn it into a bag. For real, for real. All this is just white noise in the back. None of it matters. Keep growing. Keep pursuing wholeness within yourself and self-love, and you'll never tolerate anything below that. All right. Well, thank you so much. So, y'all love, y'all enjoy the rest of y'all day. Thank Bye. you. Bye. Easy. Bye. He was cool. I like, I like his message. Yeah, his vibe. Mm -hmm. Do you want to talk to one more person or you get? Is it a woman? I I've been looking, but she's not here. <laughs> it's up to you. We can talk to somebody else. Um, whatever you want to do. Okay, let me see. I added somebody else. A lot of people, they're still here talking about she dropped the bag. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, they don't keep saying that. Mm -hmm. Hi. Hey. Oh, we can't hear you. We can't hear you. All right, well, I'll bring somebody else. Melly, you crack me up. You be quick with a connection be bad. It'd be like, next. <laughs> yeah, I mean, hey, we can't hear you. We got to go. Some other people want to talk. I think it's a lady. The name was Malika. So let's see. Uh, no, that's a guy. Hello. Hi. Uh, hello. How are you doing? Hi. Hi. How are you? Hello. So do you want to do you want to talk about the situation? I don't English. Uh, okay. Well, uh, thank you for joining, but we're gonna go then. Okay. Okay. Have a good day. Thank you. Bye. <laughs> he knows English. Talking about you don't know English. <laughs> he knows English. Wait, uh, Shay, I don't know if you talk to Shay when we're... Wait, I have a girl, maybe. I don't know if it's a girl. Let's see. 
I'll be trying because the names are confusing. Yeah. I don't know. No, she's not here. Okay. Uh, let me see. Okay, we're gonna go. <laughs> I'd be scared because they come in here doing dumb shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'd be scared. I'm like, no, you're not gonna, uh, you're not about to show me something crazy. No facts. <laughs> uh, let's see. There we go. I got Shay coming up. Let's see. I don't know if you talk to him because uh, Shay comes sometime to the show. What's, yeah, yeah. That's it. <laughs> you talk to him. Okay. <laughs> what's up, yeah? What's good? How hey. are you? I had to come here because, like, um, I agree with some stuff people are saying, but some people are not. Like, the Malik guy saying it's just the internet. That stuff matters because, like, I mean, it's going to affect anybody. It, it probably hasn't happened to him on that level, but, like, if people are saying things about you that just aren't true about your character, it's going to bother you, you know? And you work with artists, you work with people in the industry. If What if they see you from that clip and be like, oh, you're that girl who blah, 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 blah. Like, it could affect your brand. So it's like, why not, you know, come up here and clear things up? So, and I was gay, like, the one dude, like, it just, like, it wasn't, you, you can tell how someone talks to you or whatever, because he came back on and he was trolling, you know? <laughs> like, people didn't see that part, but, yep. like, I don't know. I was just as nerdy as him. Like, I had a Star Wars shirt on, you know? I, play, I was a 3D artist and said all that stuff that I did as a living, like, I'm, I'm pretty, like, whatever into that space, but it's all about, like, how you talk to people and stuff. I don't think it's anything wrong with someone saying, like, they don't like something or they don't vibe with something. Like, it, we're saying similar people, like, in interest, me and the dude, but we got we both have different characteristics, and, like, she picked up on what she liked or whatever and said pineapple to one and continue the conversation with the other. And people are dragging her for one clip when they didn't watch the whole show. So, because she was really nice to a lot of people on the show. Oh, show. <laughs> what? <laughs> okay, so you don't think she did anything wrong? No, his feelings were not hurt. He came back on, like, trolling and had the book and was yelling, like, uh, no, I mean. Yeah, he came back on. He was like, it was like we're like laughing because he was like, Y'all, it's not that serious. I'm out. Yeah, and he was talking shit. Like, we're just to be honest. <laughs> like, yeah. So, like, but I mean, I just feel like for the blog's purposes, they just, you know, had to make it sound good. No. And, and you, Mel, you have way, way worse guests on that show. So. I know, right? I know. <laughs> so that's why a lot of people in the chat were actually saying why they didn't pick, like, some other girls to talk about, you know? But yeah, I guess it was that one clip again. Yeah, his job is too good for her, and she don't feel like she can date somebody like that. That's that's how. Yeah, it goes. because I'm not smart. Yeah, narrative. Yeah. I guess like they're trying to sell it. I mean, it, it blew up though. But you know, I, I would say uh, it would bother me if something out there was like that blowing up too. So don't don't feel like you shouldn't care about it. Like. Don't let it beat you up, but like it's okay to feel it. And, you know, comments, thousands of comments, especially of women that share your same gender going at you, like that don't even know you. That it's got to be tough. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm like, whoa, like okay, I'm like, y'all projecting on me because that's why. <laughs> yeah, no, that's well, all. You, I say, you said what? I said, well, thank you for coming to give us your point of view. Yeah, I just wanted to show my support and stuff. So. All right. Well, thank, thank you. you. I appreciate that. Bye. Bye. All right. Well, I was on the lookout for this woman, but she's not coming. I don't got no woman. <laughs> All right. Yeah, well, so we're going to go then. All right. Bye. Thanks for having me on here, Melly. No problem. Wait, question. Do you feel better? Or were you feeling crazy when um, the thing happened? I think today i was just kind of like annoyed like i'm like all right i gotta address this because now i'm like uh you know mm -hmm. but i think i literally like at one point i'm literally like all right i'm ready to clap back at whoever because <laughs> so i feel like i got that out my system now because i'm like all right bro you got chill it's really like i'm not gonna worry you know what i mean because even if i did hop on them and they took the same clip and i'm like oh my gosh yeah then they would have called me a gold digger so it's just like it mm -hmm. is what it is. 
I feel like I learned something from the experience. It was interesting, like listening to everybody's perspective. Um, yeah, I feel like this was very constructive. Okay. Well, I, I'm glad uh, you were able to learn something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> all right. But well, if I find him, I'll hit you up and I'll email all these ladies because it's so many. Like, they're like, I want him. Or somebody was like, well, I'm married, but my sister would want to get to know him. I was like, wow, okay. Oh my gosh, you should do a pineapples and let him be the male edition. I mean, I need to find him first. Like, I've been on the lookout. He's at training. That's where he is. That's what I'm thinking. So we're going <laughs> to wait and then somebody is going to tell him what happened and hopefully he reaches out. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for coming. Of course. All right. Bye. I'll talk to you later. <laughs> All right. Bye. All right, guys. Well, Julia gave us her point of view and um, how this thing went for her. I mean, I, the thing is, like, with the Internet, it's always something. You know, you say something too quick or the Internet takes it, turn it around, and then, you know, next thing you know, everybody hates you, everybody in the comments going crazy. So, yeah. Uh, I don't know. Are we leaving? Are we staying? What are we doing? Am I bringing somebody else? I don't know. I'm still waiting for, for this woman who would want to come and talk and say her point of view, but I don't see her in, um, yeah, she's not here. So, so I don't know you guys, we, we're probably going to go, wait, I have this person. He wanted to come the whole time. Let's see. Let's see if he's here. But yeah, it is what it is. Can you add me? Add me else maybe. This is, oh, hello. Yo, yo, what's up, Melly? Nothing much. How are you? I'm doing good. How are you? Good. Do you want to talk about the situation? Yeah, yeah. I was. I heard a little bit about the situation. I mean, she didn't do nothing wrong, in my opinion. Okay. People got to realize that everybody not going to like the same things you like. She might have went about it the wrong way, but I ain't seen nothing wrong with it. Okay. It's awesome. so crazy how a lot of you guys that come on are saying it's okay, but the internet was saying it's not okay. Because that's the internet. Everybody want to look, you know what I mean, show face, but I'm, I'm always going to keep it real regardless. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So that's that's just like, say for instance, you know, certain guys got to learn that certain girls not in their tax bracket. They be trying to date girls that they can't afford. That's mm -hmm. the same type of, type of mentality. You know what I'm saying? Everybody not going to like the same thing. Yeah. So okay. it is what it is. Mm -hmm. What's well, up with you, though? Oh, what's up with me? Nothing. It's hot as hell in here. I need to put the AC on. Uh, <laughs> but that's it. That's that's. <laughs> nah, it was hot out here, too. Okay. It's hot, in, it's hot in D.C. right now. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so that's about it. Oh, okay. That's a bet. That's a bet. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for joining. No problem. Hey, I got to get on that show, too, man. Hey, Monday. I be sending emails, man. You be putting these bums on here, man. I don't know what's going Yo, on, No, you don't even need the email. You can just click the link in the description of the video, and you get in. But you might come too late, because uh, after 6.30 my time, it's full. Oh, it's okay, I got late. you. So if you come a little after that, it's going to be full, and it's going to be hard to get in. I got you. So, yeah. I'm gonna make it happen. I'm, I'm gonna have to get on that show, man, because it'd be some it be some dudes on there just embarrassing themselves, man. I mean, some people come for clowning, you know, so that's what it is. But hey, come through. I come through, no problem. I'm gonna DM you. All right, cool. All right. Bye. All right, guys. You know, uh, Instagram is gonna cut me in uh, eight minutes, so let's add one person and then we're out. Um, I don't see, I can't see nothing right now. Um, I don't know. Let me see if Stanley is here. I don't know. Somebody, are you, uh, I don't know who, are you telling me to put a, a bathing suit on? Who is Debbie Samira? I don't know. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Good. How are you? Hey, how you doing? You see me? Yes, I see you. All right, all right. I just, want, yeah, I just wanted to say that. I mean, there was nothing wrong with she was what was she was doing, but we have to consider a lot of times that when women are seeking a mate or seeking that person of interest, 
when it comes to their profession and it comes to when it, it comes to their profession it comes to their swag oftentimes women pick something that's incompatible so like you know she said she made a comment about why couldn't he be a doctor and how can I, I mean say she said she went to a strip club with the doctor so she was like i can have both i can have somebody with a, a nice profession and he's still cool and we can go do fun stuff Yes, that's, that, that's true, but let's look at probability. Like, what happens most of the time is, like me, I'm an engineer. Most of the times, the personality that goes with an engineer or a doctor, some traits that women are, tend to look for can't be found in these professions. That's, that's just the honest truth. Mm -hmm. And I think oftentimes we, like, as they get older, they start to realize that, but sometimes they made a lot of mistakes along the way, and now... They're, they're left with making a tough decision. I mean, wait. Like, she's 23, she's young. You're saying that the doctor can't have swag? No, he has swag, but sometimes, let's be honest, when a woman's younger, she, she's a little bit on the extreme. And then more as she gets older, it becomes more close to reality. You get what I'm saying? Like, meaning that oftentimes, like, this guy here that, that was on, I saw the clip, the guy, yes, he was leading with his resume and everything, but like as the other gentleman said with the uh, dreads, he said that, you know, in his field, this is what he's met mm -hmm. with and this is what he's used to. And maybe have, had he had a couple more minutes, he could, have showed, he could have shown another side of him. So I feel like, you know, oftentimes many women are, are getting cut off because the guy that they pick comes forward with that swag and that's what they buy into and that guy has nothing else mm -hmm. solid to offer. I, I get you. So, I'm, so my thing is, I'm saying like she's not she's not wrong for what she did at all. But I just want her like you know a lot of women, um, beautiful women like her to consider is sometimes be careful on how fast you cut off somebody because they're in their element, and that this must have been a new element for him. Yeah, I saw the other video of him kind of um I guess trolling or whatever. I think he was just trying mm -hmm. to get some confidence back because he felt like. You know, any man to do that. That's pride. We we're men of we're men of pride, you know? So he tried to get a little pride back, whatever. But honestly, low key is feelings. You think so? Any man it takes a man to say that. Like you his feelings are hurt a little bit. And he was trying to get gain a little points back. So he probably feel a little bit of confidence in what he sees in the comments. But honestly, most people who comment in the comments cannot play on this level. Like can't like most people who comment are not doing nothing. That's why they hide <laughs> behind text. Like me, that's why I wanted to come on video. I'm like, you know, if you're going to make a comment, yes, she is entitled to her opinion. Yes, she probably acted a little bit, you know, acted a little too early on her decision. But, yes, you can make that decision. But in life, moving hastily like that, yeah. you miss out. That's just, I hear that. So I'll just, that's the Yeah. Okay, well, thank you for, for joining and giving us your point of view. We're about to be kicked out. So, you know. But thank you for joining. <laughs> no problem. Well, thanks for having me. Bye. All right. All right, guys, we're going to go. Yeah, it's it's been almost an hour, and uh, this thing is telling me we got two minutes. So, so we're going to go. Well, hopefully you guys um, enjoyed Julia and her explanation. Maybe if you, if you like her, you go follow her, you know. And uh, and that's it. Hopefully you guys are enjoying your Saturday. It's gonna be a good night over here. And um and yeah, and I'll talk to you soon. I mean, we're doing the pineapple show on Monday. You know, regular regular time, 9 p.m. Eastern time, Monday and Wednesday. And I hope I will see you there. Bye, guys. I'm trying to end the video. It didn't happen. <laughs> I'm retarded when it comes to Instagram sometimes. Yep. Ah, it's not letting me go. This crazy.